Dr. Puya Mahajra and I'm the Director of Spine Intervention here at Solaxis. Lower back is one of the most common areas of pain in patients. It's actually the third most common reason for doctor visits after skin problems and joint pain. Low back pain could be acute or chronic. Acute pain is considered a new type of pain that has been ongoing for approximately six weeks or less. Chronic pain is considered any pain that lasts longer than six weeks. Low back pain is the area just below the costal margins and above the inferior gluteal folds, basically your buttocks area. It involves the muscles, nerves, and bony structures in this area. In order to understand what could cause low back pain, we need to know the structures that make up the lumbar spine. The lumbar spine consists of facet joints, sacroiliac joint, vertebral bodies, discs, nerve roots, ligaments, and spinal cord. Any injury to these structures could be cause of the pain. When people complain of back pain, not all the pain comes from one area. Most often it's a combination of structures that is causing the pain. We design an individualized treatment plan tailored for your specific condition. While surgery might be an option for back pain, it's definitely not the most desirable treatment selection. Back pain is usually caused by several structures and back surgery will not address all the structural problems. Stem cell therapy, on the other hand, could be a very effective option if patients are selected carefully. Stem cells are cells with the potential to develop into other cells. They act as a repair system for the body. The stem cells injected into the discs and the joints will help with the repair process and potentially reverse some of the degeneration, depending on the advancement of the condition. At Solaxis, for spine procedures, we utilize the patient's own stem cells derived from the bone marrow obtained from the pelvic bone. On the day of the procedure, the patient is brought to our private procedure suite, an intravenous line is started, and 50 cc of whole blood is obtained. The blood is then centrifuge, and the end product is the platelet-rich plasma. The patient is placed on their stomach and sedation is administered. Under strict sterile technique, a special needle is placed in the patient's pelvic bone and bone marrow is aspirated. The procedure for obtaining bone marrow aspiration is relatively short with minimal discomfort. The aspirated bone marrow is centrifuged and prepared to produce a concentrated solution that contains stem cells. This is the bone marrow aspirate concentration. The bone marrow aspirate concentration and PRP are combined and under sterile technique are injected into the appropriate discs and facet joints. Most patients see an improvement in their pain and overall condition in approximately 8 to 12 weeks. Schedule an initial consultation to see what options are available. Thank you for watching. I hope this was informative.